Life-saving overdose reversal drug is becoming a lot tougher to find in the state of Texas. Yeah, statewide funding for the distribution of Narcan, also known as, as naloxone, is drying up as demand for it rises. 25 News reporter Andrew Lamparski spoke with a Central Texas overdose survivor who says the medication is the reason he's alive. I've been in recovery for 17 months, almost 18 months. And uh, what gave me the opportunity to get into this, I think, is is being revived by Narcan. Caleb Boaz is living his second chance, thanks to a friend carrying a life-saving tool. If it hadn't been for him having Narcan in his pocket, um, I don't think I would have made it through that. Now working with the Central Texas Recovery Group, Boaz is a big advocate of Narcan or naloxone across Texas. But there's a problem, less of it to go around. The trends are in two directions, one more over opioid overdoses to less availability of Narcon. Texas A&M's Opioid Task Force says annual statewide funding through a federal grant is already gone. The state's more Narcan please program no longer able to accept requests, leaving nonprofits and law enforcement scrambling to find other sources for the drug. If Texas is serious about saving lives, it has to have a sustainable source of dark cow. Dr. Ori recommending the state use a settlement it received from pharmaceutical companies this year, totaling more than a billion dollars. It needs to be more than just paying for Narcon. It needs to be, as I say, a holistic program that has prevention and control and recovery all together. The task force and those saved by naloxone say they're trying to overcome misconceptions. It's really unfortunate that it takes a death for you to start trying to see how you could have prevented it. Boaz arguing that without the medication, he wouldn't have a chance to recover and in turn help countless others do the same. Andrew Lamparski, 25 News. Thanks, Andrew. According to the CDC, naloxone quickly reverses overdoses simply by blocking the effects of opioids. In most cases, it can restore normal breathing within a few minutes, even when breathing has completely stopped. More than one dose may be required, depending on how strong the opioids are and how much is used.